This is an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space in Motion 5.1. Hi, my name is Larry Jordan. In this excerpt, I'm going to show you how to add a light to a set in motion. We've seen the benefit of a camera. Now, let's add another 3D element, which is a light. Again, I'm going to make sure nothing is selected. Go up to here, go to Object, and add a new light. By definition, when there is no light, every element inside the frame is equally lit with the same brightness, regardless of what direction you're looking, regardless of which way the camera is pointing. When no lights are added, everything is equally illuminated. But when we add a light, the rules change. There's three different kinds of light. There's a point light, a spotlight, and a directional light. Let's go back to our top view. There's our light. Our light shines in this direction. It shines, we're looking at it from the top. It's pointing and shining up. Whether I have a directional light, a point light which shines up, or a spotlight. They're all shining from the, the point of the light out. If we take a directional light, I can control the direction of that light. Okay, that member RGB, blue is going to move it in Z space closer or farther from the object. I want to look for the Y curve. There it is right there. Okay, so here, notice... I'm turning the direction of the light. It's lit the text, but no light is falling on the dancer. Or here, I'm moving the light. Light is no longer on the text. It's silhouetted, and it's all on the dancer. Or I continue turning it. Light falls off the dancer, and now the light is pointing down totally away from the set. Nothing is illuminated. Well, let's put our light right here so I don't see the dancer right there. Let's go back to the active camera. There's our illuminated text. I'm going to change the color of the light. Let's make this a nice cream color right about there. And so now when I play this, because all that's lit is the light and the light is not animated, I don't see the dancer at all. Well, let's animate the light. With the light selected, just as we can animate cameras, we can animate lights, but we use the basic motion to do that. I'm going to use spin. Show the HUD, F7. Hold the shift key down. Turn this so I can see the Y axis. And I can never remember if I'm supposed to go to the left or the right, so we're just going to guess and go this way and see what happens. Yes. Okay, now I'm going to have that slow down just a bit. It starts on the Cambodian dancer, and it's slowly spinning, lighting up the wall of the dancer itself, and have the light pan off the text, having the text become a little bit... Hold it. Time out. Let's just have that. There we go, right about there. So now it starts with the text, includes the dancer, pans off the text, which means the text goes to silhouette. Look at how it's fading away. The dancer is now brightly lit, and the text is gone. Well, that's what a directional light allows us to do. I can pan to get different looks. Let's change this. Let's go back to the light. And this time we're going to change it to a spotlight. Ooh, look at that. All right, now here we're going to have the same pan, except I need to have it start a little bit more over. Let's see about this. There we go. There's our traditional Cambodian dancer. We're going to soften the edges. And we're going to uh, change the fall off just a bit. There we go. And let's have shadows as long as we're there. And now watch what happens. As we start with the text, the spotlight pans off the text and picks up the dancer. Not enough. I need more of a spin. So let's set the spin and have it be faster right about there. Okay, try that. 
Now the text goes to silhouette. The spotlight quickly spins to pick up our dancer. Look at that. This has been an excerpt of a recent Power Up webinar taking a look at 3D space inside Motion 5.1. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz slash store and look for Webinar 132. And thinking of training, if you need to stretch your training dollars, a subscription membership to our video training library saves you money. You can access all of our videos for a low monthly price of only $19.99. That's more than 800 movies, dozens of hours of training, all in-depth and all up-to-date. Plus, members can attend any of our Power Up webinars for free. Our training covers Apple and Adobe software. We update it every week. And for more information, visit LarryJordan.biz slash subscriptions. And thanks.